here is another video about how to use some different materials for teaching and testing. There's a bunch of colored sort of domino sized um, blocks. And then we also have some uh, laminated uh, patterns that can be imitated. Um, and there's a variety of different ways and difficulties. So we've got blue and orange. And so then I might take not in your hand, right on the table, blue and orange, and now these are same, right? So we can talk about same, we're looking at imitation, we're looking at colors, we can do counting. Some of them are more difficult, so there's maybe three, and this one's even difficult more because it requires greater visual discrimination, right? We've got orange and pink, which are harder to tell apart, or red and pink, right? So this might be more difficult, as well as they're uh, a different pattern instead of just uh, or design instead of just on top of each other. There's some that are horizontal. Uh, you could make it vertical. Um, and so there's just tons of different teaching and uh, testing that you can do with the, the patterns. But then just with the blocks alone, we can count them. We can label the colors. We can throw them like confetti. We can stack them and knock them over. I can pretend that this one's a boat um, or a car and it's driving and now this one's also a car and now they're racing or maybe I turn them this way and this one's a person and this one's a person and they're walking to the grocery store and now they're dancing, right? So there's different types of play there, representational play, uh, symbolic play, cooperative play, creating a story um, on top of labeling colors counting, making patterns, uh, imitating these 2D designs, and of course making it fun. Teaching and testing is so important and uh, kids are with us for a chunk of time to be working on these really important foundational skills and there's so many different ways to use the materials that we have to intentionally target different activities uh, for the different kids to intentionally target different targets for the kids um, to make it fun and to be sure that we're differentiating and using the items in a variety of different ways which also helps with flexibility.